Hey guys, ZFR back here again today. It's kind of early right now, but I decided to get up and make this video. Um, so, pretty much I want to talk about why I'm so excited for the Witcher 3, because it is my second most anticipated game for this year, and I'm just, and it's coming up soon on May 19th, I'm just super ready for it. And, um, I've noticed a lot of people, um, a lot, of, a lot, of, it's mostly people who are in the multiplayer only, I guess I see, um, why they wouldn't be as interested or wouldn't think as much of the game, but honestly, the game looks amazing, like, I mean, I don't, I can't knock anybody who decides they only want to play multiplayer games, because in the end, I see, I see wh where, um, they're coming from with that. Because, you know, multiplayer games, that that way, you know you'll get a lot out of them. You know they'll be a little more worth your money. But, um, I like to play a good single-player game every now and then, too. And right now, I'm actually playing, um, well, not right now, but I have some Middle Earth Sal Mordor running in the background. Um, and so, just jumping into this, um, The Witcher 3... It looks like it's going to be a pretty awesome game to me, guys. Um, I'm just, I, I mean, there's so many awesome things about it. Let's just start off with, like, one of the key elements. Um, the world, for example. The world is huge. Like, this world might even be bigger than GTA 5's. We're not sore about that yet, but it's starting to look like it's definitely going to be, like, I mean, if you guys haven't seen the size on this world, it's probably going to be bigger than GTA. Um, the, I, I doubt that it's going to be smaller. Um, because, I mean, because the way they've been sewing off, it's just huge. And the world is full of stuff to do. I mean, like, almost every couple um, miles of stuff you go in this world, or every mile or so, you'll run to something new to do or around every corner and there's different places like different towns I know there's an ocean you can go across um, mountain tops um, villages all that kind of stuff just um, straight up forests and swamplands I mean that's the kind of world I want in a video game like it sounds so awesome and, like, that was one of the big problems I had with GTA, um, because I felt like while the game world was huge, I feel like it just didn't have enough deta detail for me. Like, there weren't enough things to do, um, in the world, in my opinion, and there just weren't enough, um, there just weren't en enough stuff going on in the world. Like, there wasn't enough... NPCs walking around there it just wasn't um all that great to me but GTA is still a great game but I'm just using it as an example for this like most other people have um but anyway moving on from that so you know about the world now let's look at the um character actually um and his name is Gerald of Rivia and he's pretty much a witcher and the witchers are a group of monster hunters who are mutated at a very young age to um gain superhuman like um abilities or at least that's i believe that's how um i i think i said all that right like i'm not a um pro at this story here because i just jumped in i'm just now starting to get interested in the series the first and second game didn't really answer to me but this one looks like it's gonna be way better and you do not need to um play the um other ones to understand what's happening in this one that's been said by the developer but yeah um so and pretty much um you know he's doing his thing hunting um monsters and stuff and it looks like he's going to be given a very special task by um the emperor in the game to um track something down he's tracking something down um of his own and so that's pretty much all i can really give you to the story 
for now, um, without, um, spoiling it, and along the way of hunting w what he is hunting, like, his true goal, he's also going to be hunting monsters, um, he's going to be hunting criminals, and he's going to run into a lot of obstacles and stuff on the way, and that sounds pretty cool to me, like, that already sounds like a pretty interesting story. And if you want to know more about the story, there's videos on YouTube you can check out to find out more. It's pretty good, though. Um, but I'm not going to go into deep spoilers there. So, um, and moving on from that, the story, well, I just went over the story. My bad, guys. There is no multiplayer in the game. It is Well, actually, there is, but it's not like a traditional multiplayer. I think it's sort of like... Well, it kind of is a multiplayer, but it's not something most people, at least most people I know are not going to want to play. Like, um, it's like, sort of like, um, I forget how you say it, like, it, look, it looks like it's going to be one of those strategy god, like, multiplayers or something like strategy games, like, yeah, nobody... I don't want to play that. I don't think a lot of you guys are going to want to either. But anyway, guys, um, the there's, I mean, I just want to tell you guys what I thought about this game. Like, I'm, I just went over a couple of the um, big stuff there. I didn't really go into full detail. I didn't, you know, get anything organized or anything. Like, I didn't make a list of, of stuff to say. But um. I just want to, you know, kind of tell you guys about some of the bigger reasons I think this game is going to be awesome. I mean, if you don't really know anything about the game, go look it up on YouTube. There's plenty of videos um, to speak for themselves. Um, but, yeah, so The Witcher 3 is just going to be awesome. I know the game's going to sell, no doubt. There's no doubt the game's going to sell. Um... I'm not saying it's going to sell like COD sales or anything, but it's I'm pretty sure it's going to sell a pretty good amount. Um, there's a there's been a lot. The media seems to like it a lot. Like they've been saying only good things about it pretty much. So I'm I'm sure a lot of people are going to pick it up. Um, but I just want to um, tell all those people out there that um, are having their doubts about the. Uh, the um at least look into it because I feel like this could this um why this game is going to sell and it's probably going to be um a really good game. I feel like this has the chance to be a nerd saddle of Mordor. Um, and in case you guys don't know what happened with Saddle of Mordor, nobody like there were the majority of the population didn't really think much of the game to be honest. Like a lot of people thought the game wasn't going to be that great. It actually was a really good game. Like, I had to spend at least, at least a good 50 or 60 hours in that game. Like, over the time that I've had it. It's, I bought it a while ago, but I had to spend plenty of time in this game. But, um, yeah, and that game was just sort of a sleeper hit. And I'm starting to think that could be the same case with the Witcher, even if it does sell um, better than Sal Mordor did, I think um, the I think um, there are still going to be people who miss out on it because of the reasons I state state in this video. But um, anyway, guys, that's um just my kind of preview for the Witcher 3. It's not really a uh, full thoughts on the game or anything. Just a quick little preview for you guys to tell you guys what I'm thinking about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave likes and comments below. And don't forget to go check out The Witcher 3 on YouTube. And I will see you guys later. ZFR out.